Hi guys, it's Ali here, and today I am going to show you how to build the famous Melon and Pumpkin Tower Farm. So I've showed you guys how to build a small wall farm as well as a big horizontal farm, and today I'm going to show you guys how to build the tower form of it. So, but if you don't know what that is, I'm going to quickly show you guys. Basically what that is, it's a Melon and Pumpkin Farm, but it's just kind of one vertical column, which means you can decorate it and turn it into a tower. Pretty simple. So it's another just type of Melon and Pumpkin Farm. But this is a really good farm for training with villagers, and everybody has different space needs, so the more farm designs I show, the better. So, I'm just going to come a few blocks up from the ground here, just to give me a starting point. And so what you want to do is you want to have your starting point, where the first piston will be on, like that. Then dirt, ring, like a so. Then, I just place like a piece of glowstone right here, and then an observer facing this way. Another observer facing this way, and they don't need to have blocks underneath. Then right here, I'm going to place in our water source. So I'm just going to have two blocks right there. A, uh, a stone stair like this. Water bucket on top. And I'm going to come in, and I'm going to put like my piston and my observer. And this farm design is so great, because like the other ones I've shown on my channel for Melon Pumpkin Farms, is it can be expanded as much as you want. So if you want to expand it up to ward height, go ahead. If you want to make four towers, and go ahead. If you want to have this just a few mini segments and a small base of yours, go ahead. That's one of the great things about Minecraft, just being a sandbox game in general. But the farms have so many opportunities. So, now we got this in. We're going to come in here, hoe the fields, and then put some pumpkin seeds in. You can use melon seeds too. I'm just, using punk I'm just using pumpkins right now. Then come down here, place a block behind each observer, and then a block under the piston and redstone dust. So like this. Do that on each side. So when the observer detects a change in the stem, the piston will fire. So this is so simple on the redstone. Like, it's not very hard. And so then you can see it'll even work if we bone meal the crops in general. If we were to just bone meal the crops quickly, you would see every time we do the pistons fire because there's a block update. So cool. Ah. So now what if you want to build another way on top of this? That's fine. So you're just placing some blocks right here. Have one of them be your um, stone stair with dirt in front and the blocks on the side. So you can have your water source. And then have one of them just be like glowstone or something, some sort of block light, just so you can make sure you keep light in this farm. Place in your dirt. You can um, you can um, take the hoe and hoe your dirt now if you want to. Just again, just use the corners and do that. Now we want to do the same thing, placing in our pistons right here, and placing in the observers. Again, make sure the observers are detecting that the um, stem, otherwise it's not going to work. There's no like it's going to blow up or say anything, it's just not going to work. So, then do the same thing we did down here, block, 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 redstone dust, block, 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 redstone dust, block, 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 redstone dust, and you don't have to use iron block, you can use whatever block you want to, to make sure it's a full block redstone dust and I don't need that there so now you can see is I'll plant pumpkin seeds up here because why not I'll plant melon seeds up here I know a lot of people that do this like to keep them in separate towers just for organization sakes but for tutorial sakes it doesn't matter okay guys so now you can see the farm I, now that I have up the tick speed you can see just working a little bit better it does work without the tick speed I just want to show you guys and you can see the melons don't pop up as blocks but and then it's not really lost like they end up they end up falling down there and then down here you just put some sort of either hopper or water system, whatever storage you want to put. But this is just how you build the tower of it. So I'm going to pop this down to three, just so I can do my outro with less piston noises. So, that has been my video for today. It was a super quick one, just because this is such an easy design. So, I hope you guys enjoyed though. If you did, hit that like button, smash that subscribe button, and any future farms or anything you want to see me build create whatever design leave it down below in the comments and any questions as well but thanks for watching i've been Aaliyah. this has been a redstone tutorial and i will see you guys next time goodbye